Hey guys, I want to build a DIY solar generator and I've wanted to build one for, for a while. And so I originally thought I was going to use something like a toolbox. And I, and so I bought this nice toolbox, but I kind of realized quickly I was, I did some searches and, and everybody's built one. You know, everybody has one built in a toolbox. They're all over YouTube. Why do I need to create another one? You know, I wanted to use this SFK battery, but it's it's so high capacity. If I built something that contained the battery, an inverter, charge controller, and all that type of stuff, it's gonna be real heavy. I just wanna do something super simple and that maybe I can use with not just, you know, it's not just attached to one battery. I could use it with other batteries. I could use it with, you know, my car battery if I wanted to. So here's my idea. My idea is that I'm just going to build a board. I just got this scrap piece of uh, pine here. You can use a piece of plywood or whatever. And I want to put the uh, inverter, the charge controller, some terminals, and just wire this in real simple, add a fuse. I just go from the inverter straight to this uh, bus bar and that's it. Put a handle on it, you know, get a handle on this thing and then I can carry this part to wherever I need it to go and I can carry a battery. So it's in two pieces. It'll be easier to carry. It'll be lighter. Uh, the other idea I was having too is that I would maybe put like an Anderson connector on here to where just snap the battery cable in. I don't have one, but I might order one of those. But anyways, for today, I just want to build a super simple solar generator board. What I'm thinking here, like I said, I'm going to mount the uh, inverter here. And this is the negative terminal. And I am going to put 125 amp fuse on the negative. Now I know some people are going to go, what? You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to fuse the positive. Well, generally fusing the positive is good at, in practice. And I do recommend it. But it's not always something that you absolutely have to do. You can fuse the negative in scenarios like this because... There's no other path to ground here. So what I mean is, if you had this bolted down to a metal chassis like in a car, and then you had a you know, charge controller bolted down in a metal chassis, then there would be a bond between the chassis of these two devices. And that may be a path to ground. So if this fuse blows, you may still have a path to ground between the chassis. That's the only real reason why they suggest you put the fuse on the positive. Because if the uh, fuse blows on the positive, that's the only path. There's no common positive path, right? So in this case, this is just a piece of wood. <laughs> There's not going to be a second negative path beyond this fuse. Now, if you build one of these on a piece of sheet metal or a piece of aluminum, that's a different story. You're going to want to fuse the positive. Absolutely. One thing that I need to do is, since this uh, bus bar here is uh, lower than this terminal, this fuse, I need to put like a bend. I need to bend this terminal and then bend this terminal. So hopefully I can do that without breaking the fuse, right? Let's put it in this vise here. It's got to go a little bit more. Yeah. I think that's perfect, actually. Let's see. Yeah. 
Yeah, how about that, guys? I think that'll work. And, uh, you know, we'll test it. If the fuse uh, blows, then we'll know that uh, we shouldn't have done that. But I think it's going to be fine. I don't see any reason why it will blow out. Let's finish this guy up.
All right, guys. You can see the whole thing. There we go. Nice carrying handle. Bada bing. All right, so there we have it. There's my version of a solar generator. Battery and then the solar generator. I've got to hook up some cables. And I guess next we'll hook it up and uh, run some tests with it. See how she works. But uh, really, uh, it's raining today and <laughs> there's definitely not gonna be any solar. Uh, so we'll leave that for tomorrow. All right, guys. Well, so I was hoping to have a sunny day and uh, apparently that's not gonna happen. It's just been rainy like all week long. And frankly, I. <laughs> I just want to finish this video up. So we're going to test with what we got. Here's the good old solar tracker. You ever see one? I've got a video uh, describing how to build it if you want to build yourself one. Pretty simple. Anyways, it's pointing straight up. It's actually pretty cool. It's been pointing straight up ever since it's been overcast outside. So we're going to use it to power the old or the new solar generator so um we've got charge controller going he's got about 96 watts going in like i said it's overcast if it was a nice sunny day we would be you know having well over 600 watts um, but uh that's what we get today uh we're going to turn on the uh, 1200 watt inverter and of course we got it hooked up to the SunFun Kit's 300 amp hour 12 volt battery. Massive capacity here guys. And uh, we're gonna hook up some power tools. Always make sure, this is, a, this is kind of an old Black & Decker router. Make sure it's off. Yeah, it's off right now. All right, here we go. Let's see if she'll do it. Oh, easy. So it looked like, let's see, let's see the power here. Spike of 800 and then it it goes down to 250 watts. I'm sure if uh, we were routing something, it uh, would use quite a bit more power. Okay, cool, router down. All right, circular saw time. That's interesting, it's like it had like kind of a soft start and then it went full speed. Uh, I'm guessing that's a function of the inverter because I've never noticed this saw to do that. Let's try that again. Should we try to cut a board? Yeah, of course. Of course we should try to cut a board, right? I'm gonna make a big mess in here. Yeah, I think that's a proper solar generator action type thingy. Let's uh, hook up some other stuff, eh? How about a leaf blower, electric leaf blower? Let's leaf blow some stuff out of here. Ah, the fan on the inverter finally came on. Well, there you have it, guys. 
Uh, oh, look, we're getting 109 watts now. Yippee. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's everything I've ever wanted it to be. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, it's working great. So, yeah, I like this. I like, uh, the only thing I think I want to do, like I mentioned, is I want to put an Anderson plug here. Oh, hold on. I got a call. All right, guys. I thought I would uh, bring up the SunFun Kits app and do a little run on it. Nice, nice, very nice. Let's see what it says watts here compared to, to here because uh, this is going to be what's going to the leaf blower and then this is what's going to be going to uh, the inverter. So there'll be some uh, conversion losses there and we'll see it. Yeah, so there's a little loss there. But anyways, guys, uh, yeah, this is working out perfectly for what I want it to do. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be using this thing. And uh, I'm happy with it. I, like I said, I think I like this better than, you know, everything being locked up in a toolbox. Because this is going to be, if I put this uh, 300 amp hour battery... Uh, in in there it's going to be so incredibly heavy and i don't want to to do that so it being in two pieces i like it better i can use it with different batteries i can use it uh, i can hook it up to my truck battery uh whatever so i'm digging it anyways uh i'll catch you guys on the next video